hey, this sh- this should be working this time. Uh, I have done this recording uh, once before, and for some reason, Awcat did not record any audio. I have nary a clue what is going on. I'm going to have to get used to using um, Awcat and FFmpeg for recording here on OpenBSD, but that's the topic for today, OpenBSD and how's my transition been. Okay, so um, I did I, I did a video and a live stream way back about checking out OpenBSD. Apparently it's getting really popular now because some bigger YouTubers have talked about them moving over to OpenBSD, and with it being the new release and everything, I said I would come back to it um, when they released the new version, and well, OpenBSD 6.9 is, I mean, it's here, it's here, and how is it? Well, first things first, if you're going to install it, even on this gaming laptop that I have here, it's a newer laptop, newer hardware. I still have issues with support uh, for different things, uh, audio and video related uh, on Linux. Um, but when it comes to the OpenBSD install, I, you, you just need an Ethernet cord. Uh, you're you're going to need it. Hook up to internet and then uh, set all of your devices up, your Ethernet device, of course, and the Wi-Fi device, even if you don't plan on using it, go ahead and set it up. And then um, after that, you'll go through the install, select the actual disk you want to, you know, install OpenBSD to, pull down the sets for everything that you need, and then uh, rebooty. And when you rebooty, it'll pull down all the firmware files that you need, all that good Wi-Fi, all that good, you know, AMD or your video driver, whatever you need, it'll pull it all down for you. And uh, after that, it's just installing the programs and stuff that you want. And here on OpenBSD, a thing that you need to keep in mind, if you're someone like me who uses STDWM, if we vim into my config suck list, and we'll just go into the ST, oh god dang it, not the folder, we want to go into config.m, son of a bitch, if I can remember how to autocomplete, here we go, you'll want to go down in here, both of these config.makes for DWM, ST, you know, whatever, it's, it's, it's going to have these little open BSD particular lines in here, just uncomment those, and it'll build fine on uh, OpenBSD. So if you wanted to use my dot .files, that's all you got to change. Just go in there, change them to files, and so it builds for OpenBSD, and you are set. Um, I might be updating my dot .files here soon. I don't know exactly how soon it is, because I've got more shit to take care of. I need to, I need to get the uh, podcast that I do with Jeff put up on Apple Music. Um, I forgot that yesterday was the day that we were supposed to do it, and then with me being on BSD here, I've had so many technical issues. I'm sorry, Jeff, I didn't get back with you today. I've had a whole bunch of shit go down. I've had a terrible day, terrible day in... The, real life relationships and stuff like that wise it's been a tough day um but um with me getting on open bsd and everything i've had some minor technical difficulties okay one being transferring files from a linux system to an open b or a bsd system is not a walk in the park okay you're not you, you're not just going to take your uh your extra ext4 partitioned drive that you got in here and take all your backup files off of them. I essentially, what I, my strategy is to use a live USB, take those files, tar them up in a, well, tar archive, and then slap that bad boy in my drive, pull it down on BSD, and just use the files that way because I'm not dealing with partitioning a USB drive, trying to get it mounted, doing all that stuff. I'll deal with that one one day when I don't have a ton of stuff to get done, okay? Um, but here on OpenBSD, the real issue that I have come into uh, hasn't been, well, I mean, you're seeing my webcam, okay? And screen recording and audio recording, um, they work. The problem is, is when it comes to audio recording, okay? Out of the gate, my internal audio device just just worked. It was great. I booted up, installed Firefox, opened Firefox, went to YouTube, played a video. It played great. I don't have PyCom running or anything. I have no compositor. I'm not getting any screen tearing, which, damn it, that is so much better. So much better than Linux. There is no fucking way you can hope to install Linux and not need a compositor. Like, <laughs> lol, like that's going to happen. Um, but I don't need a compositor at all. No screen tearing. It's just... Mm, 
gorgeous. Um, also, also, um, on top of audio just working, as long as I'm using uh, a, a USB headset or anything, uh, the microphone and all that good stuff, it just it just works. Uh, the problem is when it comes to this bad boy right here. This right here, okay? That is a Blue Yeti microphone, and for some reason, if I if we go over here, because I'm also apparently I uh, did not know I still did still had Discord open. I was definitely chilling in just a general talk room by myself for God knows how long. Um, but if we go to the OpenBSD um, page here, you'll want to go down to the FAQ because the FAQ here is just a fantastic wealth of knowledge when it comes to BSD, okay? You're going to you're gonna want to check this out. Um, but if we go down in here to multimedia, this is where we want to be, okay? Um, inside of here, it will tell you about USB audio interfaces and how they work. So um, the first audio device is normally the internal sound card. So uh, that would be, uh, if you check right here, SND slash zero, the default, that is uh, my internal sound card uh, for by default. And then SND slash one should be the only other USB thing pl that I had plugged in, but I could not get audio out of this by specifying it with something like AUCAT. I just couldn't. Um, I don't know why. I tried a different, I tried doing RSND slash one, tried doing SND slash one, of course, and um, like I, I, I tried some different, I could not, I, I could not get it to just pump sound out of the default and record from this one uh, when specified in in AUCAT. It would just spit out an error saying that it couldn't find an audio device or whatever at, at that point, um, which is weird, but um, yeah, I probably just need to submit my D message output and all that good stuff. But anyway, um, haven't done that yet. But what I figured out is if I ran this command here where essentially the, these two commands here, well, again, one's just restarting the audio system, which again, you're used to pulse audio, also that type of shit. Um, SNDO ID is like essentially if also and pulse made a nice baby and the baby was actually like not brain dead. Um, yeah, that's, that's this. Um, so essentially this little command right here, what it does is it will, uh, configure SND slash zero. So the default, the, the, the default device uh, to correspond to the USB device when it's connected or to the internal one when it's not, which is good because when it, if I run this command here, I, again, um, I, if I plug the microphone in, I can record from it, but it, for some reason, again, it's gotta be something to do with this blue Yeti. I swear to God it, it has to. Um, but when I start recording, with it, it will like record for like 45 seconds or something like that. And then it just, the audio cuts and it's just a flat line for the rest of the recording. So that's fun. But, um, using something else, like, I don't know, this headset here works fine. Works fine. Works, works good. Works good. So, uh, yeah, absolutely love that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, essentially what I've been going through, um, is just not being able to use this having to use this, um, or just any USB headset. So the audio is not going to be as great, but, um, I've actually been wanting to get a headset anyway. So, um, this is just the, uh, right, uh, push for me to go, uh, change out and, and get me a nice headset where if something should happen to this microphone, I at least have a backup. Uh, this is actually my mom's work headset right now. Uh, luckily, she's not working and I can borrow it. But um, yeah, at the end of the day, OpenBSD has been a great, a great experience. It's been actually really enjoyable. I, I really like tinkering around with it. It's it, it's much it, it's much more fun than I think. Um, but now that I've figured out that all I need to do is just use a USB headset and everything's fine. Um, and then again, it, that's just if I want to record, if I, if I, if I'm not recording or anything, uh, I can just play audio through the internal sound card and it, and again, it, it works fine. If I want to edit outputs and stuff, the way that's done in OpenBSD is, uh, we can run do as mixer CTL here 
and this will just spit out um, all the settings. And so I could uh, I can change um, audio levels and everything pretty easily um, using again I can I can create some scripts uh, to so I don't have to type all this shit out or could just alias it, but that seems like a dumb way of doing it. But anyway, um, essentially, if I wanted to like turn up the audio, it's SNDIO, which again is the audio system here. Uh, SNDIO D is the daemon for interacting uh, with it. But if, if we go with SD, SNDIO CTL, so, so we want to control it, and we do output dot level, equals and we could set a, a level anywhere between zero and one zero being well zero and a hundred being well one being a hundred um, so you could do like 0.7 in here or if you wanted to turn it up you can do like plus zero dot one and that's ten percent um, so it's the, the the audio like messing around with audio getting stuff to work in, in here is very simple also I will go ahead and tell you this if you're completely new to op open BSD and you're someone uh, who has trouble reading documentation um, right off the bat let me just go ahead and I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you stuff before you start raging or thinking something's completely broken and not working um, you actually need to uh, look again here in the man page because it'll tell you for audio recording you have to you have to run these two commands you have to do sysctl and actually turn on the ability to record through your audio inputs because again this is a security focused operating system um, but uh, the second command here will just echo that into this sysctl.conf uh, here so when you boot these settings will automatically be enabled um, and I have the audio record enabled and as well the video record so you can get well the webcam you know down in the corner um, but yeah you actually have to enable those but again everything here is so simple the working with the the operating system is so simple it's so nice um, it's fast um, with, with me recording right now my RAM usage is high but let me be real if I'm not recording or anything and I just have a one, two tabs open in Firefox, maybe a terminal open too, doing, you know, just whatever bullshit I'm doing in there. Uh, this thing is not even hitting a gig of memory usage. It is, it is fantastic. At, it, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, it's not a hog. All right. Open BSD. It's, it's really nice. Um, I, I can't remember. There was one thing that I ran when I booted it up to, to uh, that I uh, found in documentation that can help. It's like advanced power management or something. I ran some command. I don't know, but that ever since I did that, this system runs fantastically cool. Um, but before that, it was it wasn't like burning itself up super hot or anything. But the the fans were noticeably louder uh, at idle compared to not. But anyway, that. That's been that's been fixed uh, with a simple command. Again, it's just easy to use, and I and I really like it. Uh, besides the audio being a little bit of a turd, everything else has been fine. Screen recording, easy as pie. Again, it's FFmpeg. It's really simple. Um, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on how I go about screen recording and everything inside of OBS, um, or excuse me, inside of OpenBSD. I'll definitely do that. Um, again, it, it, it'll probably be like a two-minute video. It's really simple. I'll probably just have the commands down in the description and talk about how I came to the conclusion that those are what you use. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's actually super simple to record and get all of what I'm doing here uh, done. The only thing that makes it more complicated compared to OBS is I have to stitch it all together in a video editor. But there's Caden Live here. It works fine. Um, yeah, uh, I've I've back when I used it on seven point or six point eight, it worked too. I did edit some videos on OpenBSD, um, but it was a little bit more crashy than on Linux. Like, oh, Caden Live can can be a little finicky. It can crash from time to time, even on Linux. But um, on OpenBSD, the last time I used it, it was much more crashy. Um, I will definitely talk about Caden Live if it crashes a whole bunch or gives me shit after recording this um, in the description below. So if, if you're curious about 
if I had any issues. If you hear any, if you hear any bitching in the in the description about Caden Live, then yeah, it did give me some trouble. But uh, I have a feeling it'll be fine. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm I'm liking it. So if you enjoyed this little video talking about OpenBSD uh, and want to see anything in particular, drop it down in the comments below. And uh, while you're on your way down there, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, if you're on Odyssey, hit that fire button. Um, hell, dislike it. Dislike it if you dislike it. All right, you do you, boo. All right. But thank you for watching the video. If you want to uh, support me, because uh, it would be much appreciated, there's a Patreon link in the description below. You can go join the fantastic dude, Matt, uh, over on my Patreon. Give him some company. Uh, and I am out. Peace.